Alrighty gang, so couldn't take you guys with me earlier. Good afternoon, by the way. Um, definitely had to charge the camera, which I freaking connected it, but it wasn't connected all the way. So the fact is that my camera didn't charge. So we missed out on some stuff today. But good news, guys. We finally bought some things and we finished the village. So let me take that out. Let me set you guys up here. Man, I'm so excited, guys. Oop, let me put this away. Had to take that out so I put my phone charge. Oh, let me show you what we bought over here, gang. Alrighty. So we got a little ah, we got a little Trojan horse. Just kidding. We got some little people over here. That's pretty dope. Oh, remember that cable situation I was going through? I got something over here that I didn't see that connects with one USB and comes out with three little lights. That's gonna be a big, big, big help definitely to the little village. We got a, a little horse over here. We got a few of those actually. We got this guy, I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he's rolling up some weed or something. I'm not really sure. Um, we got another little card. I said I was gonna get some cards and stuff. Uh, oh, we got another, we got some people over here. And we got some other little things over here, a little donation and whatnot. Oh. Uh, we got uh, somebody walking their dog. And then we have a guy over here getting drunk right here because he definitely, he threw a hundred lot and got a hundred pips. So that came out pretty dope. Oh, you think I was done? We got some more shit over here as well. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Yo, what are you looking at, bro? Yo, I'm mad at you, dog. Yo, I left the house for one hour and he destroyed everything, dude. Yo, like he chose violence, bro. He's not like that. He doesn't do that anymore. He used to until we got Bella. And then Bella, you know, I got a little Christmas tree. But anyways, let me, let me just take all this shit out and then uh, I'll come back for you guys. But this is uh, how the village is looking so far. Uh, guys, I know my dishes, leave me the fuck alone. Um, I have a woman in this house, literally. I don't know why she hasn't done that. Anyways, so we're gonna be upgrading the village here because uh, we definitely need some more stuff out here. But yep, that's how we're looking. All right, so, you know, had to do it myself because clearly I had to. Anyways, boom! Ta-da! Don't leave me the fuck alone. First of all, I don't get it, bro. Like, uh, the man pays the bills, the woman's got to clean. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm not wrong, bro. I pay the bills over here, bro. That's one big bitch. Yo! What's up with these stray cats out here, bro? This is my stray cat. That's me, too. She's allowed to be here. Who the fuck are you? You got a boyfriend now? Nah, bro. I don't fuck with this, bro. No, get out of here, bro. She's not old enough to have a boyfriend. She can't have a boyfriend. Mommy, come here. Good girl. Come. Yeah. Anyways, before I was brutally interrupted, uh, supposedly I have no memory in this card. Oops. Put the wrong one in here that has literally no memory. Bought a new one. But anyways, yeah, Mitchu can't have no boyfriend, bro. Like, literally, that's one big fucking bitch. Like, yo, what is this, bro? Like, who is this Goliath motherfucker? Yo, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, guys, I <gasps> zoomed in too much. So, uh, I actually have a stray cat that I put a collar on and a feeder. <laughs> That's funny as shit, right? Uh, anyways, um... Yeah, and some dude tried to grab the cat the other day. Like, I guess, like, because it was outside and it has a collar, so maybe, like, oh, no, somebody lost their cat. No, baby. <laughs> My stray cats are different out here. And, dude, she fucking just tacked him, bro. Like, Wah! that was crazy as hell. Pobrecito. But anyways, guys, uh, let, me, let me start getting all these boxes and shit out, and then we're definitely going to start to finish the... The village, but yeah, am I fucking, am I wrong or right, bro? Like, if homies pay the bills, then shawty's gotta do the cooking and the cleaning, you feel me? Anyways, uh, whatever. 
giveaway on the monitors. Definitely stay tuned for that this week. We're definitely gonna be um, starting to start giving them away because they've been sitting there and they're taking way too much space. So let me take out all these uh, things out of the box here and let me start, let me get started on this shit. So BRB guys. So yep, that's pretty much basically it guys. Uh, just these boxes right here. This is all 720 fucking, bro, there you go, $728. And everything that's already here was basically 3,200. So this whole in that, this whole city cost me $4,000. A whole ass Rolls Royce payment right here, bro. You, cool thing is this shit will last forever, right? So this is one of the little horses we got. Pretty fucking dope, look at that. That's one of them. This is the second one right over here. You already know. Um, so we got two horses, actually three. We got this one right here as well. So we got three carriages um, and we got two cars, three cars actually. We got this one. I don't know why it's pumpkins, whatever. It's part of the village set. One carrying a tree and then we got one carrying presents. So those are pretty dope. So let's get these, uh, let's, let's get these going, bro. Look at the detail in this. Bruh. Look how nice this is. So we're gonna put one car here, another one here. We're gonna put homie right over here. Oh, it looks great. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. It's officially finished. I need to set up these lights, actually, but I need a break. The village is officially complete. Ooh. What the hell? What they doing up in there, bro? Nah, bro. There's a strip club going in there, bro. No, just kidding. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Ooh. Cool thing is I'll be able to have this for the rest of my life or well, forever until they stop working or they break. But yep, very excited, bro. This has always been a dream for me to have like my own little savage village. And uh, yeah. Yay. Amazing. <laughs> Clean sink. Woo. Enough of that, enough of that. Um, I'll take care of this in a little bit. So, what are we gonna do right now? What are we gonna do right now? So, also, what I wanna talk about is, guys, uh, Nations just dropped, or they are dropping, a $10,000 account package. It's gonna cost around 150 bucks, and you'll be able to get funded for $10,000. Uh, make 10% uh, challenge, and then 5% uh, verification, guys, remember it. All, all same rules, all same rules. <sighs> what else? Oh yeah, I also bought some stuff from Champs. I got some socks from Adidas. I got a few things on there, guys. Got a few things on there. So what are we gonna do right now? Right now we're gonna do a little breakdown over here on GJ on our winning signal from today, guys. So we'll hop on the PC right now uh, and then we'll go straight into that, that little breakdown video. But um, yeah, guys, eh, also help me guys in the comments. Please help me out. What should I do for this giveaway and these seven monitors? What should I do? Like, I want to make it fun. I want to make it fair. I want to I wanna do something cool, not just have people just comment and, you know, follow somebody and then basically, boom, you win. Like, no, that's not fair. I want to do something cool. So write down below in these comments right now what you think I should do to give away those monitors. Oh, I'm getting the hiccups. All right, gang. All right, gang. So let's do this little chart breakdown. It's a nice little trade that I took this morning, guys. It was this one right over here on GJ. One second. All right, perfect. Ooh. Jeez, I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I did leave a nice little breakdown video over here in my learner yesterday. It was about 12 minutes long, guys. Um, about 12 minutes long. I actually got late on this entry. My entry was supposed to be at 
literally. But my phone had died, and I had lost a few minutes, but whatever. Trade came out good. Uh, we ended up winning our trade on this nice little freaking push of a candle. So basically, it was a nice little uh, it was a nice little ASMA, you know, a little joyride over here, I like to call it. So basically, what I saw was, oh wait, I didn't even, I was trying to show you here, but I was showing you my other screen. Oops, my bad, guys. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, we did a 12-minute video here. Why do I keep saying we? Me, I did it. Me, always me, not we. But anyways, I did a nice little beautiful 12 minutes and 12 seconds breakdown video oh, I just blacked out and then I called this trade over here you guys said get ready for a trade guys get ready I pinned that message by accident I was still half asleep guys sorry my, I had no glasses I was like oh I see something I see and boom call the trade guys boom and as you can see nice little nut let's go baby back on our win streak so we're three wins in a row again last week we were four wins in a row I got greedy and then I took a loss on GJ after I had just taken a win, but whatever. That's exactly that win that we got here and then we lost here, but whatever. It is what it is, guys. So the fact that these lows could not be broken over here, right, uh, kind of just showed me like, hey, look, as long as we can break highs over here, which we did, then I'll wait for a retracement and come back in. So I didn't want to trade London session just because that's terrible. But I did trade New York session, right? So New York kind of uh, gave me a nice little, hmm, beautiful, uh, you know, confirmation as to why we're most likely going to keep going up because New York, uh, not New York, I'm sorry, London kind of just showed me like, hey, look, no, nah, we're not going to keep going down. Sorry. Our shorts were not short enough. So, you know, once we kind of came back over here and made a little mini support, double mini support, back to back candle confirmations, gambler candle. Right over here, boom, boom. You guys know that vibe. You know, we ended up getting in, man, as we, uh, SMA started crossing, rejecting this ASMA. And like I said, man, we took it for a little joy ride. As you can see over here, man, we just, whoo, rode it all the way back up. But um, anyways, we got that nice little entry over here. Uh, and price just started to, boom, on this one candle right over here at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, we had a nice little rocket of about exactly, look at that, about 24 pips on that little nice rocket. So that's a nice trade over here. Uh, TP2, I had set it over here. I'm not in this trade anymore, guys, unfortunately. I didn't want to hold it. I don't know what it is uh, about oh, my first trade of the week. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what it is about my first trade of the week. I never can seem to hold them. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is, guys. I like to secure my profits because it helps me psychologically. Why? Because it helps me, you know, get into my next trade as a winner. So since I already won my last trade, I already come in that mindset like, all right, I'm already a winner. You know what I mean? I'm a winner. You know what I mean? That's why people who lose like a lot keep losing and losing and losing because like they have that mentality. You know what I mean? Just take a break. Simple. You know what I mean? Just take a break, you know, meditate, go over your mistakes and then literally write down your mistakes and bed them in your fucking brain so that way you don't do them again. But that was just a little trade from this morning, guys. Um, I did the whole entire breakdown exactly how I thought it was going to happen, and that's exactly what happened. So it came back for the retracement over here, and then it, we came back up. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a 618 on the fib, nice little ripple fib over here on the channel. As you can see, boom, 618 rejection on the gamber candle right over here, the 50 again. Bam, really nice trade, guys, really nice trade. So congrats to everybody and the learner. We're three wins in a row, guys. Oof. So I'm excited for that. Uh, let's see over here. Oh, yeah, sorry. So we got 2,811 members. Man, we're so close to 3,000. It is crazy. That's what hard work does, man. When people see your results, man, I'm telling you, man, people come out here and they do this damn thing. So Nations, guys, for those who are not on Nations funding, uh, basically, you guys are just sleeping. You know, we're the only, uh, we're literally the only platform out here that is offering, you know, these type of of you know requirements you know bi-weekly payouts profit splits you know live funded accounts like live funded accounts like bro like nobody can compete with nations right now but um yeah we have a quarter million dollar account over here and we have 50k and 100k these are bi-weeklies right over here the uh, 250k is not a bi-weekly guys I'm not sure why but uh we have the cheapest uh, 100k challenge for monthly which is 578 nobody's been able to beat it nobody i mean nobody's been able to beat it also our 50k nobody's been able to beat that as well so definitely check us out guys on uh, nations uh definitely definitely recommend you guys definitely check them out one of the best in the business 
you know, new company and they're starting to get big. You know what I mean? And um, didn't want to spoil the surprise, but uh, this week they're implementing Visa debit cards. So you guys will be able to come and buy your challenges with a debit card now. So before it was just strictly crypto, but now it's going to be strictly crypto and, you know, other cryptos as well. Coins you can buy with, literally, you can even buy with Dogecoin. Uh, and also Visa, finally. So I'm really excited about that. Remember, guys, you can scale up to a million dollars. Telling you guys, best in the business. Definitely check them out. But yeah, that's pretty much basically it for this trade, guys. It wasn't too much crazy. It wasn't too. It wasn't too insane, guys. It wasn't too like ooh no. It was just a nice little trade. You know, it worked out. Hey, we saw it. Uh, thank God I woke up. Uh, my alarm didn't go on. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened. But yeah, got the trade. We all took the dub. Hell yeah. Had about 40 people say thank you so much for that trade. That felt great. I love when people say thank you. Because you can. I've gone on 10, 15 win streaks and nobody really says thank you. But I lose two in a row and I'm the devil. People say fuck you, I hate you and all that. It's crazy. It is what it is. But anyways, hope you guys like this uh, little breakdown video, guys. Definitely see you guys in the next one. So let's go back to the vlog.